If the average conversion rate on Etsy is one to 3%, why are we converting two to six times more? I was able to break that down to two main reasons why. Reason number one is our listing images. And reason number two is something that I like to call design variations. I believe that if you do listing images correctly, you can get to from a one to about a three, four percent conversion rate. And then if you incorporate design variations, you can get to about a five, six percent. The reason why focusing on your conversion rate is so important is because everything kind of stems off of your conversion rate. We've already discussed that the number one variable to drive rank is your sales velocity. That if you increase your conversion rate from a one percent to a 3%, you're going to get three times more sales, therefore driving rank three times faster. In terms of advertising, if you increase your conversion rate from a 1% to a 3%, you're going to convert three times more clicks into a paying customer, therefore paying three times less in your Etsy ads. In terms of ad placement, I believe that your ads are placed dependent upon your conversion rate on that search term. So if you increase your conversion rate from a 1% to a 3%, I think your ads are going to show higher in search to get more visibility, more clicks, more conversions, more rank and around and around the flywheel goes. So focusing on your conversion rate is very important. In this episode, I'm just going to focus on the listing images, hopefully to get you to that 3-4%. And then in a different episode, I'm going to go over the design variations, hopefully getting you to the 5-6%. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I personally use Canva to create my listing images. To get started, we're going to click on create a design in the top right, custom size, and then I do 2000 by 2000 pixels. So I do square images. And then we can go ahead and name this document. In this example, I'm going to do tumblers. So I'm going to do Tumblr listing images. And then knowing that the main image is our thumbnail and the thumbnail is a little bit more narrow in size versus a square image. One thing that I do when I get started is I go back over to Canva and I create one more image that is 2000 by 400. And this will make uh, sense here in a second. I change the background to a light gray and then I download this as a PNG. I then go back over to our 2000 by 2000, click on upload, and then upload that uh, 2000 by 400 pixel. And I put that at the very bottom of the uh, main image. So essentially this top 2000 by 1600 is the perfect size for the thumbnail. Um, if you've watched episode four, I go over how I do my images and the order that I do them. So we go over that the main image is going to be our thumbnail. The second image is going to be our how to order. So in this case, it might be design variations. The next one is going to be a social proof. The next one is going to be our benefits and or features. And then the next one is going to be our love it guarantee. Our love it guarantee. And then since we do have a social cause uh, for this one, the last one is going to be a, um, a social cause. Being that a portion of the sales are gonna go to a charity. Essentially all of the profits are gonna go to a charity for the per on demand million dollar challenge. But for this main image or for this image, I might just say a portion of, that way it doesn't skew our conversion rate a little bit. So these are gonna be our six images that we are going to build out. So, and we're gonna start with the thumbnail. about right Let me just get rid of this so what I'm gonna do is I'd like to put everything on the main image to uh, kind of intrigue curiosity to increase our click-through rate so I am gonna have design variations for this listing so I'm gonna put the, the the variations on the main image and also a badge that says like ships tomorrow or ships fast and also the product is going to be um, tumblers so what I'm gonna do is kind of kind of map out where things are gonna go so first I'm gonna click on square. I'm going to grab a square box really quick. Maybe this one. There we go. Because tumblers are more vertical, um, so therefore I think I'm going to put the variations on the far right. If the product is more vertical, I put the variations on the side. And if the product is more horizontal, I put the variations on the bottom. That way it fits the, the, the shape of the thumbnail better. 
So I'm thinking maybe the tumblers will go here. And then I'm probably going to have at least four variations. So one variation will be the main image and then three variations on the side. So let me see. So roughly one, two, and three. But I need them to come all the way down here. So right now I'm kind of just mapping things out, where things are going to go. And I'm thinking that and I'm doing this live. So if, if I'm kind of going back and forth, uh, this is just me going through the process. Right now I'm kind of just mapping things out. Let me just grab a line really quick. Uh, that's pretty thick. Uh, just a, a basic line will work. So I'm going to go ahead and just map it. I think this is too narrow for the tumbler. So. Let me just 90 degrees. And then I'm thinking maybe kind of split the difference a little bit. I'm thinking maybe like right here will work for that. Perfect. And then click on the line one more time. And then therefore one variation is going to go there. And another one there, another one there. So get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. Perfect, so I've kind of mapped out the, the, the thumbnail where the, the main image of the thumbnail or of the tumblers are gonna go here. A variation design is gonna go here, another one here, and another one here. And then when I upload this into our Etsy listing, I'm gonna crop it to remove um, this bottom piece right here. So this is our thumbnail. So we need now to go over to Etsy to get a, um, a mock-up of a Tumblr. So the next thing I do is I go over to Etsy. And then I search what the product is. In this case, it's going to be Tumblr mock-up. All right, and then essentially I go down page one to see if there is a mock-up of the product that kind of fits the design that I want for my thumbnail. So I'm just going to scroll down um, on page one really quick. I'm thinking this one right here will work. Just looking at it really quick. See if there are any other ones. All right, I think I think that one's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase this uh, mock-up here, and then we're going to add it to our Canva listing. Alrighty, so I just got done purchasing that Tumblr mock-up, as you can see right here. We're going to add it to our Canva listing images. I'm going to group everything together and then move it up to our thumbnail image. Perfect. And again, this, this rectangle here is going to be for the three sides of the tumbler. Now we need to put a background behind the tumbler so it looks like it's sitting on something. So I'm going to go over to Elements and I'm going to search maybe Wood Counter and see what we can find. This one looks good. I'm gonna click on that. I do want the wood to be darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the background so it's just the wood. And then I'm gonna click on edit photo. Go over to adjust and maybe go to the brightness and remove all of the brightness from that image. That way it looks like it's a darker wood. And then I'm gonna probably put that maybe, maybe like that. And then I'm gonna move it to the back. Go click on position and click on move to back. Now it looks like the tumblers are sitting on a wood, but we also need that background, but I don't want that background to be nice and dark. So I'm gonna click on this guy here, remove the wood, and then make the background a lot bigger, and then move to back. Perfect, one thing with the backgrounds is I like to make them a little bit blurred, that way they're out of focus and the focus is on the main product. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on to the bricks here click on edit photo and then scroll down to blur and then maybe give it a let's see maybe a 20% uh, blur will be, will be perfect perfect so now it looks like the tumblers are sitting on the wood I can make these a little bit bigger that way they, they catch their, their eyes a little bit more when someone's scrolling on Etsy 
another thing I want to add to this main image is um, a badge. So I'm, I might put the badge up here towards the top left. I'm going to click on elements. Click on, I think shapes is right here. I'm going to click on this guy right here. And let's see, that might be good. Let's try that. And then I'm going to change this to a, a bright color to kind of stand out, pop, be a pattern interrupt. So I might change this to a bright orange. Let's see what that looks like. And then put some text on it that says, uh, depending on who you're using to fulfill your tumblers, uh, they might be able to ship fast, ships tomorrow, ships today. But something over here that just like in incentivizes them to buy your product or, and or to click onto it. So I'm going to click on to the text and then type out ships next day. I'm going to make the font color white. And then just put it right on top of this orange badge here. All right, let's see. All right, I'm going to play with this a little bit just to get it how I like it. Alrighty, so essentially I made the orange a little bit more bright. I removed the roundness over here and then I moved it up a little bit just so it's not covering any of the tumbler. And I kept the ships today white text over the top. So this is going to be the badge to hopefully help click through a little bit. Now for the variations over here on the far right, I did purchase a couple um, designs that go into tumblers just to be placeholders for here. So I'm going to go over to my uploads and you click over here, let me grab this one. I'm going to size it just so it fits perfectly. I think that's good. Make sure it's the right height. Center it and then drag these guys in so they're the right width. I'm going to make a copy of this guy. Put it right below. Interesting, this one looks like it's a little bit wider, which is okay. And then do it one more time. Perfect, and I'm just gonna put some different ones here so you can kind of see how it looks in terms of different design variations. So our main image has a badge that says ships next day. So if they're looking if they're late gifters, if they need a reason to buy your product, that is a reason. Uh, design variations on the main image. So maybe they don't like this uh, design that you have here, but like, hey, I like the, the, the floral and the color of this one. So they can click onto this image and then buy this as a variation. Um, one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these, um, these uh, kind of like placeholder lines. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these to the back. Move this one to the back, move this one to the back. So that way I can remove these lines. I might have to zoom in a little bit. All right, click on to this line right here. Click on delete. Scrolling down, we're gonna click on to this line right here. Click on delete. Perfect. And then one thing I like to do too is put some shadows to separate these three variations here. That way they look like they're kind of stacked like almost like a roofing tile. So I'm going to go over to elements, click on to and uh, go over to elements and search for shadow. And then let's see, see all. Let's see. Let's see what that one looks like. This one might work perfectly. So I'm going to put a shadow right here, but I'm going to make it smaller. I might be able to, yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Drag that in and then I'm going to make it a little bit less dark. So I'm going to click on transparency, maybe drop that down to a 50. Perfect. And then I'm going to click on to it. I'm going to copy it and put it right here for the next break. and then copy it one more time and put it right here. And I'm being pretty quick with this, guys. Um, if I was doing this um, 
not being recorded, I'd probably be a little bit more tedious. You can kind of see there's still like a kind of a light, uh, white line right here. So make sure we connect those. And then right here, connect this. Um, I'd probably spend just a little bit more time making that just a little bit more perfect. But for the sake of the video, you guys are going to see for the majority of like, this is how I create my, my images. So now I have a template for uh, the thumbnail. I think this is actually pretty good. Assuming, you know, we're going to put the, an actual image in here, the design variations here with the actual personalization play in between the names. And then uh, I think this is a great starting point for our thumbnail. All right. So now moving down to the next image. The next image is going to be our design variations. I think for this one, we might do four variations because we have one, two, three, and then, you know, four. So with all of the other images, I like to have a background color that's not white. So I click onto uh, the square, go over to colors, and then for this one, I might do a light tan color. Let's see which one looks nice and light. Uh, that one looks pretty good. All right, perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and click on text and add a text element. I like to title all of my main images for like what this what it is. So for this one, it's going to be Tumblr variations. All right, perfect. Next, we're going to change the font to a different font. I think uh, I like this one right here. And then we're going to change the size to maybe let's see what 120 looks like. Um, looks good enough for now, at least. Let's move this up towards the top. And then we're going to put the four variations right here, right here, and right here. So I'm going to put a go back over to elements. I'm going to click on this guy here. I'm going to maybe make the color white. Perfect. Let's see. I think that's a good starting spot or size. I'm trying to get four of these guys. And then I'm going to put them in the center. Let's see what that looks like. I think it looks pretty good. I might make them a little bit smaller. Maybe bring them a little bit closer. Perfect. And then put them in the center. I think that's, that's pretty good for now, at least for the sake of the video. Let me just make them center aligned. And then I'm going to title them A, B, C, D. So I'm just going to copy this text element here. I'm going to do capital A. Maybe size, see what 100 looks like. Maybe size 100. Put that in the top left corner. This one right here will be B. And I'll take a little bit more time just making sure everything is perfect. Um, so I'll have to like rework these a little bit. This one will be B. This one's going to be C, but for the bottom left. And then D. So these are the design variations that I was talking about at the very beginning where someone can shop the listing and not shop your store. They might click into variation A, but buy B. So therefore you have a higher conversion rate because they didn't have to leave to click into a different listing to get the sale. Two clicks for one sale, but now it's one click for one sale. That, that helps your conversion rate. All right, so this is gonna be your design uh, variations. I might take this here. I'd either put either this image here or the actual product image here. I think for this one, I might put the actual product image there. So yeah, one second, let me click on, let me add a new page really quick. Click on projects, bring this guy back in, regroup these guys together, uh, make them pretty small, and then drag it up. Alrighty, let me see, so make sure it fits. I think that's perfect. Perfect. And then lastly, this one right here. All right, so this is gonna be our um, how to order image, which is number two, which is our Tumblr variations. Because we don't, for this one specifically, we don't have sizes. So our how to order image is gonna be the variations. I think that looks pretty good. Um, the next one is going to be 
change the background to that light tan color. This one is going to be our social proof. So for our social proof, I like to have a, a two thirds be like a lifestyle image and then the bottom one third be like, you know, five stars and then a review. So we need to have an image here of either the product or somebody holding the product. And then the bottom one third is gonna be say five stars and then a review that says, you know, I love this product, quick shipping, great design, etc. All right, so I'm gonna head over to Etsy really quick. I'm gonna find a mock-up, I'm gonna buy it and then I'm gonna come right back. Alrighty, so I just went over to Etsy and purchased this Tumblr mock-up right here. I think this kind of fits our nice kind of lighter background up here. And then I'm gonna drag this to the top two thirds and probably drag it down to about that. And then I might even make the image a little bit bigger so it just fills the spot a little bit more. And then maybe make it semi-center aligned. I think that's pretty good. Next is I'm gonna grab the title from here put it down here, but it's gonna go on the bottom two thirds. And I'm gonna change these to five stars. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna change the color of this to a yellow. Let's see, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe make it just a little bit smaller and center aligned, perfect. Next, I'm gonna put a review right here, click on text. Grab a body text here. And then I might do for the font, I personally like the font called Aileron. And then maybe size 50 or 52 roughly, that looks pretty good. So for the review, if you already have reviews, you can plug in a review here. If you don't have a review, you can have a friend or someone say it, therefore it's not a lie. Uh, but for this or for the sake of the video, I'm gonna put, I absolutely love this Tumblr. The elegant design came out crisp and arrived in the mail right when I needed it. And then we'll put some uh, quotation marks around it. And then maybe make it so it fits a little bit better, like that. Center line, maybe raise a little bit. And then I might do aileron thin really quick. So it looks a little bit bold. All right, perfect. And then let's just see. All right, I think that looks good. And then make that center aligned. All right, perfect. So I think this is a great social proof image. You have the product, you have the five stars, you have the review. We will put the design on the product, but for now, I think this is great. Moving down to the next image, we have the benefits and the features. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. We're gonna grab this title here, put it here, and I might type in only the best. And then I might put some features or some benefits and a list off to the side on the left and maybe the product onto the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some text elements. I'm gonna type in some features so it's personalized. This is one, I'm gonna make it bold. And the size looks pretty decent. So personalized, um, shooting from the hip, a straw included. The next one could be dishwasher safe. The next one could be uh, maybe BPA free. Right, the next one could be ships next day. And then lastly, the next one could be uh, love it guarantee. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these all um, at the same alignment on the left. All right, looks pretty good. Put that right here. I might do a little paragraph below the title here where the text can say our custom tumblers Our dishwasher safe, uh, BPA free, 
I'm just kind of uh, going over these things right here. Uh, let's see, ships next day. And backed by our Love It guarantee. And backed by our Love It. I think that's pretty perfect. Let me just make this center aligned. I might put some uh, little icons off to the left here. So like personalize, I might go over to elements. So personalize, I might put like smiley face for an icon. This one looks pretty good. Straw included, so I might put like straw. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's pretty good. That's not too bad. Almost looks like a hockey stick. I might search Tumblr. Uh, let's try this one right here. It gets smaller. Right now I'm just kind of getting everything kind of lined up. Uh, dishwasher safe. Might put in like dish icon. See what they have. And again, right now I'm just being pretty quick with it. Let's see what they have. Uh, this one looks pretty good, like a clean plate with a sponge. And I'm gonna re-space these out um, after I get all the icons. Uh, BPA free. Pretty good. Ships next day. I think that one looks good. Click on this guy. And then love it guarantee. So I might put like a love icon. Do that one right there. Alrighty, perfect. So now I'm just going to take a second and just kind of re-space these guys out really quick. Alrighty, so now that everything is spaced out and looks good, I'm going to find a product of a Tumblr and put it right here so that way you can see the product side by side with all of the benefits and features of that product. So I'm going to head over to Etsy, buy a mock-up, and come right back. Alrighty, so I just bought the following Canva template where it's a hand holding a single tumbler. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna put it right here. And then try to just resize it so it fits nicely inside of our template. Let's see really quick. Maybe just cut that straw down a little bit. Perfect, I think that looks great. So it's like a, a hand holding a tumbler side by side with all of the, the benefits. So this is our benefit feature shot. Moving on to the next image, we're gonna do our love it guarantee. So I think for this image, we're gonna do a very similar layout uh, to this one right here. So I'm actually gonna create a copy of this one and then move it down. I'm going to delete the five stars and I grab the title, paste it and change this to love it guarantee. All right, so I'm gonna head over to Etsy one more time. And again, I'm just gonna type in Tumblr model mockup, find one that I like, purchase it and come right back. 
So I just purchased the following model holding a tumbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this image right here. Drag this one in. Then that looks about good. So now it is a model holding a tumbler for love it guarantee. And then for the text right here, I typically write, we are 100% committed to making you happy. Make you happy. If you do not absolutely love custom tumbler, just let us know and we'll issue a refund right away. Perfect, and I might move this up to here. Perfect, we're 100% committed to making you happy. If you do not absolutely love your custom Tumblr, just let us know and we will issue a refund right away. Perfect, and then again, we will put the graphic of the variation on this Tumblr. But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna leave it white. Moving on to the next one. So that was the love it guarantee. The last one is social cause. So for us, we are donating 100% of the profits in this challenge to a charity. So I am gonna dedicate an image for a social cause saying like a portion of all sales will be donated to you know a charity. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna make a copy of this one here. And then I'm gonna change the title to say, make a difference. And then change the text to Help us make a difference. So in our print shop, we do donate 5% of all profits to the Convoy of Hope. So I'm just gonna make that the charity for this one here. But for the challenge, we are leaving that open-ended. So if you guys have a charity that you wanna to donate to, we can uh, donate to, to more than just the Convoy of Hope. And then I might just add one more sentence. Um, help us sp uh, spread love to those who need it, uh, need it the most. Perfect, and then I'm just gonna put a picture of a Convoy of Hope here. So I just found the following image for the Convoy of Hope. So I'm gonna delete this image here and upload this one. And I think that works perfectly. And then I think we're done. So let's go back up to the top really quick. We've created our thumbnail image where we have a badge, we have our variations, and then we have um, the product here, center left. We have our how to order image. In this case, it's gonna be design variations, design A, B, C, or D. We have our social proof image, which is the product, five stars, and a review. We have our features and or benefits image here, which is only the best, the product side by side with a bunch of benefits and features. We have our guarantee, which is our love it guarantee image. And then we have our social cause image, help us make a difference. So I have a, I have a little bit more work to do, kind of cleaning it up a little bit. I was kind of uh, rough around the edges in making these, but I think we're about 95% done with these images. Well, that's it for this episode. We essentially broke down all the steps that it takes to create your listing images to hopefully get you to that three, 4% conversion rate. And I hope that you're able to see that it's not that complicated. If you got value out of this episode, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and maybe share with a friend who might get value out of it as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week.